My name is Lucina Russell. I'm the Arts Officer with Kildare County Council. Dance is a key development area within our local authority arts plan. I'm Nicola Dunn and I am currently managing the Dance Development Programme on behalf of Kildare County Council Arts Service. We have been running the Lab and Summer School for the last 10 years in NUI Maynooth. Kildare County Council Arts Service have been committed for several years now to developing dance opportunities, but not just in terms of professional dancers and dance artists, but also to give an opportunity to as many people as possible within the community, within the locality, to dance or to experience dance. We've had such a varied number of people taking part over the years, including physiotherapists, drama therapists, drama teachers, as well as the general public so it's such a broad application that we feel it's it's worthwhile to continue to run the program many people have gained benefit over the years The best way I can put it is that it's a technique that's following the work of a man called Rudolf Laban, who was a founder of modern dance. He was interested in a form of dance that gave permission, if you like, for the dancers to make their own contribution creatively. So he began to realise that the raw material of dance is everyday movement just as the raw material of music is sound. And he began to observe the way that people move in everyday life and look for the underlying principles. The Laban principles are generic, they're a kind of bedrock. They're about movement, not a particular dance style. Laban divided um, his movement theories up into body, so kind of what the body does, um, space, where, where it is, the, the, the shaping of it and so on, the how, which is effort, so different qualities of movement and relationship. You are creating the, the movement content and you're creating it with another person, you know, several different couples, learning bits of their sequence, learning to move like them, adapt it, change it slightly. The very ethos of it is community-based, the idea that anybody can do it, that's accessible to everyone. But the essence is there are basics and we use the basics and build on the basics, um, body space and effort to actually um, build up dance, to build up movement and it's used in lots of areas of work. So it's a mixture really of training and study um, and learning to dance well. Very holistic on the grounds that if you bring the, the mind and the body together and also of course the feelings, it's a very holistic and healthy experience. Dancing makes me feel like I'm alive. I feel with all of myself and I'm able to experience my life fully. I love it. I just love it. It's very exciting. It's joyous. It makes you happy. The essence of the world is just all about dancing and moving and having fun. When I dance, I feel at my fullest. Just that kind of acceptance, I think, and that happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction in being myself. 
Dancing makes me feel strong and powerful, courageous. However physically tired I'm, I, I feel, it's, it's very uh, exhilarating, it's very uh, energising. It helps me to recall feelings I've had in the past, but in a safe environment where I can structure those feelings. As the movie goes, inside I'm always dancing. It means I can, you know, move out of my head and just put the focus into movement, fun, and connecting with other people on a different level. But being part of a Minute Dance Summer School and dancing around the kitchen makes me feel absolutely wonderful. The way the Minute Dance Summer School is set up, it's, it's not about who's the best dancer. It's not about who is the most professional here. It, it is inclusive of everybody. The, the joy of working with Lavin's work is that it works in lots of different communities, whether they're disadvantaged communities or whether they're communities who have all the advantages in the world. Because what you do is you start where people are at and you use the work at their level. Everybody comes on a very equal footing and that's why um, it's so beneficial and it's such good fun and a happy place to be. I like the way it's given me structure and more of a confidence as well because I already work in dance but this has given me more ideas that you could use with groups how to get a group to interact with each other better, how to get people to work in pairs that might have issues with touch. What we did was uh, support each other to just move with a, with a stick and it's important, some people don't really like to have too much hand touch or, or contact with another person so therefore using the bamboo stick is a means of connecting with someone but it's not invading someone's space. And that's why I think this lab and course really gives you a language and a base, not even a verbal language, a physical language, you know, to communicate and to share ideas. Many people who go on uh, lab and courses or lab and summer schools will say it's a really life changing experience because you just take it back into your everyday life. I've made a transition from a primary school teacher to giving that up, training and dance. Um, and now I'm only feeling confident actually in the last few months to say I am a dance artist now and I'm working in dance and I'm creating work. My background is nursing uh, but I've moved over the years into supporting people in a more individualised way. So part of the work that I do is supporting people to integrate into their own natural community. And the Minute Dance Summer School supports that uh, 100%. I mean, I teach in a primary school and I teach, some of my teaching is mathematics, but I teach it all kinesthetically. I use movement and uh, dance ideas and so on, and Laban's philosophies in order to teach children. It's slowly being recognized that, that children and adults learn best if they're actively involved in their learning. And there's a physical component as well as visual or auditory. I still feel I'm a bit of a primary school teacher every day. That comes out in me every day. <laughs> And when I was teaching, I was always dancing. I wanted to do maths through dance. Let's just play with lines, so drawing lines in the space. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to play with just drawing lines in the space. So you can draw them any way you want. Mm -hmm. Just drawing lines in the space. And change that into a circle. Just drawing a circle, circle, circle. Now, go back to your line and use a different part of your body. <laughs> <laughs> and circle using a different part of your body. So like that's really, really simple lesson, but like it just embodies, say for really young children, like what is a line and what is a circle? It just kind of brings it into the body. That's maybe 
senior infants maths. <laughs> <laughs> I work in Trokera. I've been there for the last 15 years. I've done a number of different positions. Um, before in South America, my own region, but then uh, lately I just moved on to a different region, which is the Eastern Horn of Africa as a regional liaison officer. Laban for me is another extra bit that can complement very well um, trauma healing tools when working with people who have suffered or lived in places where there has been conflict or trauma because of natural disasters and so on. What I've done, um, and that was recently in Colombia, was to use Lavan jointly with the trauma healing skills. Well, this was a very interesting event. It was a congregation of 200 people who came together for a conference. Um, this event tried to address issues like trauma. Uh, which sometimes are completely overlooked in societies where uh, there is um, conflict. So um, I had 25 people all together in a day workshop and we combined lab and tools. We um, used a lot of awareness in terms of their presence, their bodies, themselves and the others. And we interchanged the body movement with some of the uh, trauma healing skills. The participants were members of um, non-governmental organizations with very, very dif different and opposed uh, political views. Laban allowed uh, people to maybe soften the relationships, to allow people to meet um, for those who didn't know each other, um, to maybe create a very good environment for relationships, to use the music, to use the body movement, to allow people to walk in a room. Very few times we have the chance actually to think of ourselves and to think and feel the floor, to feel the body, to ask the body how it feels uh, in a particular point in time. So uh, that is one of the things that Laban does. It's to create that awareness of self, but also to help um, and actually focus on the others and establish uh, the relationships. So in Africa, when I, when I was in my, uh, well, part of my job was to visit a number of projects and to meet a number of people just to look at experiences in peace building. Uh, in this particular uh, place, it was um, um, a very remote part of Africa in the north um, west. There was actually a lovely moment at the end um, and um, there were two women in the group uh, and they asked me to take a photograph and um, that was my first time in Africa, actually. And I didn't know how close to I could stand for the photograph if I was able to hold them or touch them. Um, so I actually stand very, very lightly and softly beside one of them. And there was one of the ladies who actually held my little finger uh, just at the side. So. It was a very, very touching movement, mo mo moment for me, um, but I realized how important it is to communicate with the body if you can't do it through words. And I think Lavan is, is a very important tool in that sense as well, because you don't need words, you can use your body. In the future, we would like to continue uh, to work with the Lab and Guild to establish courses. So we would hope to continue to run uh, the basic courses and the more advanced courses for people. And um, we also want to try and get some more men to dance. And I think for now, that's probably one of our biggest challenges.
when I'm dancing, I feel at that moment, I can say with the most confidence ever, I am Lisa Cahal and I am dancing and I am here in this world right now. Anybody can dance, anybody. They just need to have the, um, the enthusiasm. And I would recommend it to, to everybody. Whatever you do in life, it, it, can be, it can be valuable. What's really good for us is to find out maybe two or three years after the courses have happened and maybe get a phone call or a letter to let us know of the impact uh, that the course has had on a person and maybe how it's uh, changed the course of their career or how it's impacted on the work that they do. And that's something that we get immense satisfaction from. He's produced a really superb analysis of the field of movement which is of course utilised for dance.